over for grade school, but it is year round for some of Minnesota's youngest students, and it looks like their hard work is paying off. A new national study from the Journal of Applied Developmental Psychology shows the benefits of focusing on education in preschool. Elise McGregor, founder of Little Newton's Early Education Center, joins us tonight. Elise, thanks for being here. Thank you. We've heard this pre-K debate really for years in Minnesota, trying to make it mandatory. It is not right now in the state, but tell us about this study, first of all. What, what did it find? You know, it found that children that attended an academic-oriented preschool were two and a half months ahead of their peers at the end of kindergarten. And I was so surprised to, to see these uh, numbers and these statistics. A lot is happening in the brain before the age of five. Yeah, and so the brain is 90% developed be, by the end of five. And so we look at that as a great opportunity from zero to five to really educate children and get that foundation. And speaking of that education, this uh, preschool education really goes beyond letters and numbers. I think mm -hmm. that's what we, we all associate preschool with. Yes, and we teach them anything from chemical elements all the way through to the presidents. We um, really believe that there's nothing that they can't learn, and we make it really fun for them. And what do you say to the parents? Uh, I think this is a, a debate we hear a lot about, that let kids be kids. Let's not, you know, they have the rest of their lives to, to go to school. Yes, and I think paired with the fact that this is an opportune time to educate, we make it really fun. For example, um, we teach them about Italy, and they learn about the Sistine Chapel. Well, the teachers put paper underneath the table, and they're painting while they're learning about these different I guess bits of knowledge and so it's not that they're sitting in a desk we're not um, we're making it very fun for them so it's not feeling like school exactly but it's developing that lifelong learning that will build with them for the rest of their life and tell us a little bit more about your program at little newton's early education center i understand you have three centers across the twin cities yep and we teach them spanish french italian mandarin sign language we start with little babies and we grow through to um, age five and we just really believe that anything we can teach them anything we're showing now some topics in preschool, um, so kind of some markers. Can you walk us through that, what parents should be looking for? Yeah, you know, literacy is a big part of pre-K and learning the letters and sounds. And children going into kindergarten should know letters and they should know sounds. They should know all of the capital letters of their name. And um, they should be able to count to 30. Our kiddos, we push them to count to 100. They can count forward and backwards. And it's just... I guess building on that skill to get them ready for kindergarten. All right, I said I have about uh, just a few months left before my son is five. I have some work to do by the looks of things. <laughs> Elise, thanks so much for being here tonight. We, Thank you. We do appreciate you talking about this very important subject, especially during the summer, right? Yeah. Thanks, Elise. Thank you. And if you would like to learn more about Little Newton's Early Education Center, we do have a link for you at WCCO.com. You'll also find a link to that new study there as well.